The Juman Pottery Period is an archaeological era in Korean prehistory broadly spanning the period of 8000-1500 BC. This period subsumes the Mesolithic and Neolithic cultural stages in Korea, lasting California, 8000-3500 BC and 3500-1500 BC, respectively. Because of the early presence of pottery, the entire period has also been subsumed under a broad label of Korean Neolithic. The Juman pottery period is named after the decorated pottery vessels that form a large part of the pottery assemblage consistently over the above period, especially 4000-2000 BC. Juman means comb-patterned. A boom in the archaeological excavations of Juman period sites since the mid-1990s has increased knowledge about this important formative period in the prehistory of East Asia. The Juman was a period of hunting, gathering, and small-scale cultivation of plants. Archaeologists sometimes refer to this lifestyle pattern as broad-spectrum hunting and gathering. Incipient Juman the origins of the Juman are not well known, but raised clay pattern Yongji Moon pottery appear at southern sites such as Garzan Ni in Jejudu Island and Ubong Ni on the seacoast in Elson. Some archaeologists describe this range of time as the incipient Juman period and suggest that the Garzan Ni pottery dates to 10,000 BP. Samples of the pottery were radiocarbon dated, and although one result is consistent with the argument that pottery emerged at very early date. Other dates are somewhat later. If the earlier dating holds true, Yongji Moon pottery from Garzanni would be, along with central and southern China, the Japanese archipelago, and the Russian Far East, among a group of the oldest known pottery in world prehistory. Kozman suggests that more absolute dating is needed to gain a better perspective on this notion. Early Juman the early Juman period is characterized by deep-sea fishing, hunting, and small semi-permanent settlements with pit houses. Examples of early Juman settlements include Sepoang, Amzadong, and Osan Ri. Radiocarbon evidence from coastal shell midden sites such as Olsen, Sejuk Ri, Dongsam Dong, and Gardu Island indicates that shellfish were exploited. But many archaeologists maintain that shell middens did not appear until the latter early Juman. Middle Juman Cho and Bale estimate that at least 14 Middle Juman period sites have yielded evidence of cultivation in the form of carbonized plant remains and agricultural stone tools. For example, Crawford and Lee, using AMS dating techniques, Directly dated a domesticated foxtail millet seed from the Dong Sam Dong Shell Midden site to the Middle Juman. Another example of Middle Juman cultivation is found at Jitimri in North Korea. A pit house at Jitimri yielded several hundred grams of some carbonized cultigen that North Korean archaeologists state as millet. However, not all archaeologists accept the grains as domesticated millet because it was gathered out of context in an unsystematic way. Only black and white photos of the find exist, and the original description is in Korean only. Cultivation was likely a supplement to a subsistence regime that continued to heavily emphasize deep-sea fishing, shellfish gathering, and hunting. Classic Juman or Bitsal Munui pottery in which comb patterning, cord wrapping, and other decorations extend across the entire outer surface of the vessel, appeared at the end of the early Juman and is found in West Central and South Coastal Korea in the Middle Juman. Late Juman The subsistence pattern of the Late Juman period is associated with a de-emphasis on exploitation of shellfish, and the settlement pattern registered the appearance of interior settlements such as Sangchon Ri and Imbul Ri. Lee suggests that environmental stress on shellfish populations and the movement of people into the interior prompted groups to become more reliant on cultivated plants in their diets. The subsistence system of the interior settlements was probably not unlike that of the incipient early Moon pottery period, when small-scale shifting cultivation was practiced in addition to a variety of other subsistence strategies. 
The late Zhumen is roughly contemporaneous with Lower Chiajiadian culture in Liaoning, China. Archaeologists have suggested that Bangida and Qianzhen Ri, a substantial group of petroglyph panels in Ilsen, may date to this sub-period, but this is the subject of some debate. Kim Jiangsuk suggests that the hunter-gatherer cultivators of the late Zhumen were gradually displaced from their resource patches by a new group, with superior slash and burn cultivation technology and who migrated south with Mu Moon or undecorated pottery. Kim explains that the pattern of land use practiced by the Mu Moon pottery users, the dividing up of land into sets of slash and burn fields, eventually encroached on and cut off parts of hunting grounds used by Zhumen pottery users.